basically since your horse is always bending and turning, they don't have time to rush or get distracted. It's just a really good way to get your horse supple, to get your horse on the aids, to get your horse focused. And the thing about patterns and figures is they give you a plan and a purpose to your ride. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be doing the six circle exercise. This is a great exercise if your horse is tense or distracted or stiff, not wanting to bend. Also, check out the description below. I have a free PDF download that gives you five of my favorite patterns and figures to train your horse and get your horse on the aids. So there's a lot of great exercises in there. I also have my GoPro on so you can see what my hands are doing as I'm working on this exercise. I have not done this one before with Jacques, so it's gonna be a first for us. What you're gonna do is you're basically gonna be doing a shallow loop serpentine with 10 meter circles at every point. So I'm gonna go through the corner at F. I'm gonna make a 10 meter circle to the left. And then from F, I'm gonna curve out to X. And then at X, I'm gonna do a 10 meter circle to the right. So what I'm doing here is I'm changing the bend in his body from left to right so that on my 10 meter circle, he's bending in the body to the right. You'll notice that my inside hand is always away from his neck. I'm pushing him here off my left leg into my right rein. And now my left hand is away from his neck. That's really how you know if your horse is correctly bending is if you see their inside eyeball and if there's a curve in their neck, and if your outside hand is by the withers and your inside hand is away from the neck. So you can see here, I can see his left eye. My right rein is at the withers and my left rein is away from his neck. I'm gonna turn out towards X. You can do this in rising trot or sitting trot. I'm gonna do rising trot just to give his back a little bit of a break. And it's really important to think about using your legs to create the bend. So here I'm pushing with my left leg. I'm bringing my left leg forward. I'm leg yielding him off my left leg. My right leg is behind the girth. It's always inside leg at the girth and outside leg behind the girth are what create the bend. And it's extremely important that you always start the bend from your inside leg. Make sure to do the six circle exercise in both directions. So I'm gonna change direction on the diagonal. Let him go a little more forward. Come on, buddy. Good boy. And then I'm gonna do the same exercise to the right. If you have a horse who's like super tense, distracted, wants to rush, you could seriously do this exercise for like 10 minutes because Basically, since your horse is always bending and turning, they don't have time to rush or get distracted. It's just a really good way to get your horse supple, to get your horse on the aids, to get your horse focused. And the thing about patterns and figures is they give you a plan and a purpose to your ride. So if you're just a beginner rider, you're not really sure what to do, Riding some patterns and figures is a really great place to start. If you don't have a dressage court, you can always set up some cones or some markers out in your field to help you. Oh boy, Jack, oh boy. So that was fun, not bad for our first time. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, be sure to try it at home and check out the PDF download below. There's five other great patterns for you to try. And again, patterns and figures are a great way to get your horse supple, get your horse on the aids. I always work with patterns and figures with all my horses and students um, because it trains them basically. Just riding the pattern trains your horse and gets them on the aids. So be sure to subscribe, give this channel a thumbs up, and we post a new video every single Wednesday.